Morning everyone, Tom here from Hooked on Nature. I've got a real surprise to show you today. So around about two weeks ago, I got a phone call for a friend. He lifted up a concrete slab and he said, mate, I found all these snake eggs under it. And I'm pretty certain they're browns because when I opened them up, he opened one up, he busted it with a shovel. He said, there's a little, little snake in there, it was banded. I said, yeah, it sounds like a brown. So I went up there, this is up in Bilpin, took off up to the, to the place, got the eggs, and I noticed there was a bit of diversity in the egg sizes. Considering that all, they were all found in the same patch, I thought, you know what, maybe it's just a communal nest site. This is the smaller brown snake eggs. Was I wrong? And I got a really cool surprise. So down here, I'll just show you. Sorry, you're in my messy, messy homemade laboratory. Uh, photograph things and play around with things and I'm in the middle of cleaning everything up. So if I can show you in here, Beautiful tree. So just give me one second. So we've got this one over here at the back is a baby scaly foot. It's brown, doesn't have banding, and the other ones are banded, they're browns. Now the interesting relationship between these two species is Scalyfoots quite often mimic brown snakes. So when you harass a scalyfoot in the wild, they flip up and they raise their head and they strike just like a brown snake would. The interesting thing is they're found in the same nest site. Now I wouldn't normally hatch these guys together, but I didn't know that these were going to be scalyfoots hatching. I'm going to let them go tomorrow. And fortunately for the scalyfoots, the baby browns have tummies which are full of yolk. Aren't they just gorgeous? Look at the banding pattern. Now these baby brown snakes, they're going to grow up. When they do grow up, they're probably most likely going to lose all that banding. Now, scaly foots, these guys eat spiders. They're a spider specialist. If you can see this one over here, he might lift his tongue out for me. They don't have four tongues at all. They actually use their tongues to... Let me just turn this over here for you. They actually use their tongues to clean their eyes because they don't have eyelids. That is gorgeous. Here's that big fleshy tongue of theirs. Now, brown snakes, I actually really love. I love brown snakes because they follow people around. What I mean is they're a mammal specialist. So they're, they're, they're actually a friend of us. They're a friend of farming because they're out there cleaning up rats and mice. They're a really important species despite people not liking them. And I don't like to say browns are aggressive. I like to say they're defensive. If you play with them, that's when people get bitten. If you try and kill them, that's when people get bitten. But other than that, they really don't want anything to do with you. What I'm going to do though, I realise people don't want brown snakes around their homes, is I'm going to take them back up into the bush and let them go tomorrow, hopefully when it's raining a little bit less. And I'll disperse, and with any luck, some of them will survive, the rest of them, they're probably going to become food for things like kookaburras. But what a great job. And fortunately for them, they got saved.